Lamentations chapter 3 verse 26 and it reads, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear lunch break lesson. Quietly, patiently waiting on the salvation of the Lord. You know, suffering through what we got to suffer through. These lessons that we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel, just basically a lesson on just waiting, man. Just, just waiting on the Lord. Sit back, waiting on the Lord, man. Doing what is required of us to the best of our ability is a good thing. Not taking matters in our own hands. Preaching the truth according to the Bible with all humbleness. And meekness, being thankful, being content with whatever we have been blessed with, you know. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful spirit to have. It's a beautiful gift to have. You just sit back, you know, you see all these things going on. We're not doing this for filthy lucre's sake. We're really waiting on the Lord. The Lord has really put his spirit on us to wait. We're not getting tired of waiting. You got Israelites, they tired of waiting. So you see what they have done. They done took the bag. Um, teaching perverse doctrines now. They don't give a damn. But once again, lamentations. This is a quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, like I said before, the elect is edified, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? So-called lamentations, chapter 3, verse 26. It is good that a man, Israelite man, woman, and child, should both hope, because once again, we're prisoners of hope. Our faith is in the Lord, right? And quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, because that's exactly what we're waiting on, Lord willing. That's exactly what we're fighting for, salvation. And these nations are going to see it soon come. I want to just get this right quick. These heathen nations, they're going to see the salvation of the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that number. What is it, Baruch? Let's get this, Baruch. Just a quick little lesson through the Spirit, man. Just bring out some scriptures through the spirit, man. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Bear with me. Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. And it reads, like as now, the neighbors of Zion, meaning these heathens, have seen your captivity. So shall they see shortly your salvation. Because that's exactly what we're waiting on, right? Sitting back quietly, patiently waiting, suffering through whatever we got to suffer through. And Lord willing, we'll be saved and delivered. Because once again, ain't nobody saved. We, we don't fall for that nonsense no more. You got these pork chop eating pastors telling people that they they saved already, man. They still saved. 2022, ain't nobody saved. We're praying that we, Lord willing, be saved and delivered from the horrors. From the destruction, from the everything that the Lord got coming down the pipeline. We're praying, man. But like the scriptures say, Baruch 4 and 24, like as now the neighbors of Zion, these heathens, have seen your captivity. They've seen us going to captivity, hardcore bondage, slavery. So shall they see shortly. It's not even going to take that long. Salvation. I'm going to get that too. So shall they see shortly your salvation by way of the chariots, right? So, look, so shall they see shortly. It ain't going to take The end is near to what we believe. Your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting man. It's going to be glorified. It's going to be, oh, man. We got something to wait on now. Mm, we got something to hope in now. See, prisoners of hope. It's going to, it's going to be beautiful, too. Go, salvation is going to come with great glory as well if we part of that number man it's going to be beautiful the Lord said eyes have not seen the ears most definitely haven't heard what I got planned for those that sit back and patiently wait on me and, and the things that are written the four time were written for I learn I want to get that too let's get this first though Romans 13 it's a quick little hit we'll just sit back waiting on salvation man we, we, we got to put this work in too though can't sit and just be idle. 
you know, our hope is in this word, right? Romans the 13th chapter, verse 11, and the reason that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's our hope, right? It's in look, the scripture says salvation is aka deliverance. It's nearer than what we believe is real. The Lord getting ready to really get it in, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is really getting ready to get it in, man. Let's get this. Cause we just waiting on the Lord, right? You know, I gotta bring this out through the spirit. And Lord, one of the elect is out of fire, right? Psalm chapter 130, verse 5, and it reads, I wait for the Lord, Yahweh, all caps, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you're gonna call Jesus, he saves, he delivers, right? My soul do of weight. And that's the spirit that you want to have. You do not want to take things in your own hands, right? Remember, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding, right? I wait for the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call Jesus, my soul do of weight. And in his word, this Bible, right? And in his word, the word that is faithful and true, right? Do I hope? You see, pr pr prisoners of hope, Israel. Pr prisoners of hope. I'm, I'm, you know, I got to throw this in here, too. Got to throw this in here. Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8, and it reads, Therefore, wait ye upon me, save the Lord. See? See? The Lord didn't say take matters in your own hands. If you you can get tired of waiting on me, you can go sell out. You can take a bag. You can, you can take them bribes. You can you can get a five hundred one c three charter. You ain't gotta wait on me no more. The Lord didn't say that. He said, "Therefore wait ye upon me." You see, until the day that I rise up to the prey. See, don't take matters in your own hand, Israel. Just wait on the Lord. Patiently wait on the Lord, suffer what well, we got to suffer through. And let, look, we got to pray. We, we got to pray the Lord keeps his spirit on us to be able to continue to suffer and trust in him no matter how rough it get and no matter how bad it get. Look, look, until the day that I rise up to the pray, which is which are these heathen nations and two thirds of our people, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. That's what you see going on over there in the Middle East. The Lord is gathering all these different nations, man, for the war of all wars, man. War, war, war. World War Three, man. Where he's going to pour upon them his indignation. What did he say? To pour upon them my indignation, meaning his righteous anger. Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Lord, that, that's, what we wait, that's why we're waiting on the Lord. No, more reasons on why we're waiting on the Lord. Shit, the Lord can do more to these heathen nations than we can. You see? Ooh, so we can't do nothing. The Lord can do way more to these heathen nations and two-thirds than we can. That's why we wait. In his, in his, in scripture, and in his word, do we hope. That, that was a bad scripture right there. Mm. That was a bad scripture right there. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord, your power, Yahweh, though his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is a power of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. You, you hear that, Israel? Bless, highly favored are all those that wait for him, man. Like I said before, the lunch break lesson. I'm just pulling whatever the Spirit had me pull. You see? Let's see. Let's get this though. Remember, I, I mentioned don't take matters in your own hands. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 21, because we're being slandered, defamed, our name is um, being dragged through the mud, so forth and so on. But the Lord said, Wait for me, I'm gonna fight for you. You see, just bring out that word, right? Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22. Say not thou, I will recompense, meaning pay back evil. The people that's doing us dirty. 
the Lord said, nah, don't, 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 don't wreak your pain. Don't pay him back by bringing evil upon him. No, no, wait, look, wait on me, but wait on the Lord. And he shall save thee. Because you had these other Israelite groups talking about taking up arms and all that, gathering arms. Nah, nah. Well, scriptures tell us don't render, don't render evil for evil. You see? Wait, wait on the Lord. Man, just like I said, just a quick little lesson, man. Through the Spirit, Lord, one of the elect is edified. Let's see. Yeah, you know I gotta bring this out. Psalms 37 and 9. For evildoers shall be cut off. You see? These evildoers will eventually be cut off, Israel. And the Lord will we'll get to see it. It says, "You shall, you shall um, behold the reward of the wicked." Meaning, we're gonna see it, Lord, when we have that number, right? For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, they shall inherit the earth. Remember, the meek shall inherit the earth. They shall inherit the earth. The, earth, the elect man is gonna inherit the earth. You see. And Lord willing, if we up that number, that's going to be a beautiful thing, man. You see? Let's see. Let's see what else. Man. I did, here, here it is right here. The water. The water you have by Shimei Shah. Here it is. I'm, I'm going to make this my last one. Like I said before, the lunch break lesson. Lord willing, the elect is edified, right? Just wait a little. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Look, 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 look. The, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Psalms 37, 34, and it reads, Wait on the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and keep his ways, meaning rehearse, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of your ability, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it, Israel. Thou shalt see it, man. You see, Matter of fact, I do got one more. I got one more. Number. I'm gone. My break been over with. I got one more. I bring this last one out. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's get this. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, the house of David, avenge not yourselves. Remember, the Lord's going to fight for us, right? Avenge not yourselves. Just wait on the Lord, right? But rather give place unto wrath. Because the Lord can do more to these people than we can, right? For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. So the people that did us wrong, the Lord's going to pay them back, man. Just, just keep teaching the word. Just keep believing. Just keep hoping in the words of Yahweh by Shema The Lord's going to make a move on these people, man. The Lord will the Lord willing, we up that number. I, I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. You know, wait. Well, I, 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 I might have to bring out one more. Bear with me. This is my last, this one, this is my last one, Israel. I'm gone. The Sirach also knows Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 36, verse 16, and it reads, Reward them that wait for thee. You see? It's a reward for the for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel that wait for the Lord. Prisoners of hope, right? Sirach 36, 16. Reward them that wait for thee. And let thy prophets be found faithful. Waiting on the Lord. Shalom.